welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I have a Zara haul, a very colourful Zara haul. You can see behind me it's full of really bright colours. So let's get into the first piece. So first up I picked up this beautiful red suit. I feel like I feel like we all just need that little injection of colour into our lives. <laughs> If, if your life isn't exciting, why not wear an exciting suit? So this is a beautiful red, like really tailored, very Balmain-esque like kind of suit. I think this would look gorgeous with a red lip. I'm picturing it now. <laughs> this is a Holland Cooper blouse underneath it. I do actually really love their blouses. They've got the gold button detail on, which just really finishes off an outfit. Actually, these pants are so well tailored. They're so beautifully fitting that even on their own with a shirt or a blouse would look so good like you know when you want to feel good in a pair of trousers these are them i love the button detail down the pocket as well that gold detailing really just adds that little bit of finish to an outfit so i wanted to talk about this top i have on this is a i love the puff sleeve vibe i have it in i have a few in black as well but this is i'm gonna use the word organza i'm really enjoying that word today aren't i but this is like an organza kind of fabric with a white band bandeau top and actually it's quite flattering on the cleavage even though i've not got a bra on um so it gives you lots of support for well i say that i've not got much to support but it feels like it's doing a good job of like keeping everything in place so i like this um i've just paired it here with the stripe wraparound skirt this is quite weird because it came with a big pair of granny pants i might show you a little clip of the granny pants situation which were like <laughs> the crotch is really low I don't know what was coming on there I'd probably try and cut them out because I wasn't feeling it but I loved the wraparound skirt okay so next up this electric blue I want to call it is this electric blue <laughs> it is so good like I think it's just a gorgeous colour. Like if you're wearing a plain outfit, just that pop of blue is stunning. Paired with gold, I really love the gold details with it. I think it's a really good colour combination that just, it's all working for me with this outfit. I just paired it with um, skinny leggings with the zip zip slip <laughs> um, these are from zara last year i'll try and link someone similar because there's a lot around at the moment but they the slit trouser was originally founded by victoria beckham i believe and it's gone so mainstream it's everywhere but i love it because you can share a fabulous shoe with it it's ideal to wear an amazing shoe these are from pretty little things which you could find by the way the gold toe that's so designer-esque okay so these are balloon trousers oh I love them. They're not detailing the kind of balloon silhouette and with like, I just think it's one of those things that really makes an outfit, that little not detailing. I paired it both with a black shirt for more of like a business look and then I've paired it with like a cami which is also from Zara in this order. Um, for a more like laid back kind of beachy vibe or summer vibes. This top, it's got a criss crisscross over back, but I just like the structure of it. I think it's a really good basic. Um, I have another basic as well to show you. So this is the first one and it has a crossover detail, which I think is great because you can snitch it in to like fit your body. So let's talk green. <laughs> I never thought I'd be a fan of green. It's just something that I would never be drawn towards. But recently I've been seeing it around a lot and I'm just loving the vibrant colors i just think why not have a play with your color palette and i have picked up to go with it the cutest green handbag i believe this might be a dupe is it a bottega dupe i don't know you guys know leave it in the comments um but this is from zara and i just love the chain detailing on this it goes so perfectly with the green suit here i've just paired it with some wide leg trousers because i kind of really enjoyed that silhouette like a snitched in waist with the wide leg trouser drop the handbag <laughs> the wide leg trouser on the bottom i think it's just plays around with different silhouettes Okay, so this is a pink co-ord set. So both separately would be fabulous. I'm even pitching this maybe with the red blazer over the top. I don't know, pink and red is kind of a thing. Um, but this is a pink co-ord, wide leg trousers, a little pink cami, and I think this is a great alternative to wearing just black or plain. Why not pop some color in? So this is a hot pink, hot 
pink cord. Also this is another kind of cami basic which I had but this time if you look at the back of this it's got this gorgeous kind of tie detail and I can't decide which one to keep. Don't know which one I'm feeling the most. I know they're very similar so just two different two different vibes there but I paired this black one with the pink wide leg trousers again instead of like neutrals or blacks. Adding that vibrant pop of colour, I'm just loving at the moment. I feel like everyone is. Everyone's just trying to inject as much vibrant colour into their wardrobe as possible because it's all we have. <laughs> okay, this top, yellow. <laughs> it's like an orange yellow. It is so bright. It really is bright. Um, I'm going to say I haven't faked tanned. I've, I'm having a laser tomorrow, so I've, I've not got any fake tan on. So I feel like this colour on very pale, pinky skin tone is not a good look. However, if you're gorgeously tanned on the beach with a cocktail in my hand, this is what I'm envisioning. Bring on the sunshine, England. Seriously, where are you? <laughs> I believe on the grapevine would you a heat wave, but who knows? Grapevine, so British. <laughs> right, so this blazer, it reminded me of the Balmain-esque kind of vibe. I do love that vibe in a blazer, you might have guessed. Zara do it very, very well. In fact, I think I get most of my blazers from Zara. They're just really gorgeous. Um, they, they fit really nicely as well. So I feel like this is a great one to pair over like white shorts and a white t-shirt for the sun when it graces, its, graces with its presence anytime soon. But also for workwear, it's a really great one to wear with black because it's got kind of a black um, tinge to the buttons in it, so you could really pull that out. But also, I tend to, I really turn to blazers. I don't know what it was. I think it was when I turned into my 30s that I really started to love blazers more. I became such a smarter dresser. Um, definitely in my early 20s, I was definitely like a grunge kind of big hoodies, skinny jeans, that very Mary Kay Ashley Olsen vibes. Um, but now I love tailoring. I think it's something about wanting to come across like a powerful woman. <laughs> this is what I want to achieve. Um, so yeah, a lot of my wardrobe is blazers. I like to whack them over the shoulders when I'm wearing maybe like jeans and a tee or go full on suited and booted with like beautiful tailoring. I just obs became obsessed with tailoring when I hit 30s. Okay, so I have a few accessories to show you. Um, I love an accessory, you, you guys might know this. So first up, I have a scarf, and you guys know, thank you for all your love, by the way, in the last H&M haul. Um, I've had a really good, like, bad run of bad corona long haul. Um, it seems to have passed. I literally just went one day. It's the weirdest thing, honestly. Ooh, it's lightning. Um, honestly, long haul corona is the weirdest thing. If anyone else is going, going through it, I find it very strange. Um, let me know in the comments, because I feel like I'm going through it alone. Anyway, I have to be really careful of my chest. I have to keep warm. Cold really sets it off. And also, England's not that warm at the moment. It really isn't. So, I have a scarf, but it's like an, is it, I want to say organza. Might just have plucked that from thin air. But um, it's like a see-through kind of scarf. I love the colours of it. It was like kind of this earthy tone. And I just pictured this over a blazer with like sunglasses on as well when it gets a little bit warmer. Um, can you hear that? When it gets a little bit warmer, um, I'm just pitching this maybe over a bikini. It's something that I really love to do, like just drape it over my bikini. I'm, I'm that bougie at the swimming pool, trust me. <laughs> also, I'm burner, we have to do these things. Okay. These shoes, I think, were a bit of a find. I'm in love with them. Look at these. I love this chain detailing here. A nude shoe, a nude court shoe, I feel like will last you a lifetime. I really enjoy a pointy toe. I think it's a really great look for like workwear. Um, but yeah, I just adored these. Look how fabulous they are. <laughs> I'm getting really excited. Um, but that gold detailing, I feel like you could probably wear them this way as well, but they are seem to go that way. So beautiful. Um, yeah, I love, I love. I'm a big fan of a court shoe. You might have realized, you might have noticed I wear them a lot. So next up, I found these. Oh my gosh, look at them. I feel like if you're gonna do a flat sandal, why not make it jazzy like that? I loved the gold. I don't know, I just thought. Also, because it had so many colors running through it, you could pair it with a lot of things because it would pick out the color. I just 
really enjoyed them as kind of like a different kind of slider. Just look how beautiful that is on your toes it would look really pretty <laughs> okay next up we got some sunglasses i actually wanted these in white too but they seem to have sold out these are the sunglasses that i've been pairing a lot you'll have seen them on my instagram and stuff as well just i'm loving accessories i've gone in a bit of an accessories mode so that is everything i will do a little recap now your first time here please do stick around press subscribe lots of fashion beauty london life i guess um yeah hopefully we can start going out again soon i feel like everything's just lifted in england so we've been we've been released <laughs> we're free we're a little bit free so yeah lots more vlogs coming up and do stick around hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram tiktok it's at the laura blair and yeah i will see you soon for another video bye